back from China right now, guys, but I'm home right now. But yesterday, I was at the airport. Let me write you some Chinese words. I can speak a little bit of Cantonese, guys. Like, I know there was Lang. One is Yat. Two is Yi. Three is Sam. Four is Se. Five is N. And is no, no. Six is Mok. Nine is no. Seven is Chit Chat. Eight is bot, nine is gal, ten is sub. I know hundred is ba, <coughs> is ba, <coughs> it's ba, like yak ba. Oh no, eleven is gonna be uh, yak. It's no wait, it's gonna be satya, satya, satyi, satsam, sat no sub, sub yak, subyi. Sabya is 11, Sabyi is 12, Sab <laughs> Sabsam is 13, but 20 is, is Isap. That's Cantonese. I know, ha, I know, hey, hi in Cantonese is <coughs> Leho. How are you? Is Leho ma? No, it's Neho. I know, like, the right, and I can know that I can speak a little bit Cantonese, but I'm, I just learned can Cantonese from my mom, but my mom speaks <laughs> Cantonese. When my mom can speak Cantonese, like she taught me a little bit of Cantonese, but I know I know that Cantonese is being spoken in Guangdong province and also Hong Kong. I have been in Hong Kong. <laughs> Let me tell you what I did on my trip. Like first I have <laughs> came to came to Vancouver. After Vancouver I just flew to Vancouver first, then I just stayed at my dad's friend's house, I just stayed with my dad, but my mom and my brother were and are both at home, but <coughs> I know that there's five people in this house. There's me, my brother, I have my parents, my mom, and my dad, and I also have my cousin, which is my mother's brother's daughter. I know she's 23, my brother is 17, I'm 14, and let me show, <coughs> show you some Thanks for that. First, I came from when I go to Hong Kong. That was June, June 18th. But when I go to Vancouver, that was two hours behind, which is in the, the Pacific time. When I go to Hong Kong, it was 13 hours ahead of Houston's time. So <coughs> if it's 1 p.m. here, then Hong Kong will be 2 a.m. And when I went on the airplane <coughs> from Houston to Vancouver, it took. It took 12 hours from Vancouver to Hong Kong. And Hong Kong. I don't know how. When I came to Hong Kong, there's my bro. <coughs> my mom's brother in Hong Kong. I just stay at his house. I know that's his house. I know Hong Kong is home. I know he lives in an apartment in Hong Kong. Like, I know in Hong, <coughs> Hong Kong. There is. I got the license, the license plate, they wrote the same thing as the UK license plate. And I don't got cars drive on the left side. And I know my, <coughs> my mom's brother and my dad and me both, when we are in the airport, then just get, carry our luggage, my luggage, then <coughs> until from Vancouver, then we can, you know, my dad wants a luggage to ship from. Houston to Hong Kong directly, not to Vancouver. So, <coughs> but we ship to Vancouver, so he doesn't need to pick up at Vancouver. So they will, sh but they it failed the airport or failed to ship the luggage to Hong Kong. But they just only ship the luggage to Vancouver, then pick up then from Vancouver. It was on June seventh and June sixteenth. I just go to Vancouver June seventeenth before. I just from Vancouver, I just go to Hong Kong. When I go to Hong Kong, it was June eighth. Then it was my birthday. That was June eighteenth. That's somewhere around five p.m. <coughs> and in Hong Kong, my bro, mom, brother, pick like, me and my dad. I don't pick us up. Then we just go to, and we just rode bus to his place <coughs> and from the airport. But my uncle just, which is my uncle, which is my mom's brother, he paid. Forty-five dollars for for three people to ride the bus to his place. Forty-five is Hong Kong dollar. I know one Hong one U.S. dollar is seven point eight 
Hong Kong dollars. I know Hong Kong use dollars. And don't think Hong Kong dollars is, is expensive. I know one <coughs> each person who wanna ride a bus need to pay fifteen Hong Kong dollars to ride. I don't my uncle has paid forty five Hong Kong dollars for three of three of us to go to <coughs> his place. And in this place I know that the main floor is zero floor. And the main floor is zero floor. I know I can see some buildings that are that are messy, and because <coughs> apartment rooms are messy, but I know Hong Kong is modern. And I just when I stay at my uncle's place in Hong Kong, I know my uncle then he just cooked dinner already. The dinner was I just ate was a cold was just noodles was <coughs> it's just noodles with some green veggie, but. But I don't mind I eat the noodles like where my uncle told me that I, that the noodles I should eat it should be cold. The noodles are cold because people in Hong Kong people will eat the hot new hot stuff during summer they may sweat a lot. So I just I ate the cold noodles. And my uncle <coughs> and my dad we just ate cold noodles and there's my uncle my uncle's wife, which is my aunt in law. I know that's what I know like where I have gotten those chips and like where cut print Pringles chips. But I know my uncle and my aunt in law they haven't ate them. But my aunt in law is my uncle's wife. And like I know for my uncle, he has a daughter. In Hong Kong he has a daughter staying at my put house and his son at at university in Beijing. I know Beijing is the capital of China and Hong Kong. I, it's a I know people. It was a part of the UK before during <laughs> 1997. <laughs> like in Hong Kong, there's I know like where where Hong Kong is a part of China. It, like where the uh, the UK government has then the UK when China wants Hong Kong back on world peace. <laughs> no. In Hong Kong, well, there were Cantonese people since it was in the UK. The road signs did show does show English and Chinese. I know when I go to Hong Kong, people speak. I know many people in Hong Kong speak Cantonese, and then from Hong Kong, and then when I stay in my uncle's place, and the next day I just go to Shenzhen. I go to Shenzhen. <laughs> I just I have a pass by the security I like, where. When I pass by security, people, if they want to pass by for, for Chinese citizens, if they want to, people in Hong Kong, if they want to pass to, pass this to the security, they just use their business ID or driver's license, but foreigners, they just use their passport. And then, they just also read the handprint to check whether or not it's a criminal. For people to put their hand, print, hand on the machine, then they may read the handprint. No, the fingerprints to whether or not he's a criminal. I just use this. You put like this on the machine, like like those fingers down. Then the two thumbs, like this. And then other pass by security, I have to. I just put my luggage just in the machine, like where they have an X-ray machine. Then when they <coughs> when they look at the machine, the X-ray machine, to check whether the per per person has brought in drugs or Weapons, drugs or weapons aren't allowed, or any strange stuff, something that's strange, like someone <coughs> identity that doesn't, that he has doesn't belong to him. And if I pass by Shenzhen, that's part of security. Go to Shenzhen. I just rode on a subway train, and I don't know there is a a big a bridge that goes along the river from Hong Kong to Shenzhen, and. I know as I say, I see our our passport. For my uncle, he's a Hong Kong citizen and a Chinese citizen. He can go to Hong Kong on, without passing by security. But when he's in Shenzhen, and I know his workplace is in Shenzhen, his home is in Hong Kong. He goes to Shenzhen as his workplace. This is how you write. How you write Shenzhen? I know Shenzhen. I know Shen. That means deep. 
gen. Like it's a as a tu and a tron and a tron means river. And <coughs> tu is is dirt. And I know in Shenzhen, it looks, it's a modern place. Let me search up how to write Shen, how to write Shenzhen. We know Shenzhen. In order to write that, is let me show you how to show what the word is. How to write it. It is. This is, this is how I can write this. It is. This is how this is how to write Shenzhen, the city's name. Look right here. This is how I write this. You can see that this is written. <laughs> if you can speak Chinese, you can understand what this <laughs> is. So I could have a shen, and then I just stayed in a hotel. That hotel it was old European, and I know like I had gotten mosquito bites. I know in China they have poor areas. No poor people, no poor <laughs> artists in China like where they get they get often they get mosquito bites quite often, and I know I had gotten several mosquito bites from China. So let me show you. This that looks like <laughs> it is more. When I stay in a hotel, that's hotel that's near the. Near the train station, like where I rode the high speed train. <laughs> I know for subway, it's called D tier. High speed train is Gao tier. And I know, I don't rode high speed train from. Then the next day from Shenzhen, I just go to Xiamen. And I go to Xiamen, then I. In Shenzhen. <laughs> from. Apart from. I want to go to Xiamen, why are there for high speed train? Because. I know that in Xiamen I have came visited a university which my dad's friend has or where my dad's friends work right there, but I can't tell you the name. But I know in Xiamen <laughs> it just so I just stayed like the university like there's a dormitory like where me and my dad just stayed in the dormitory. Stay in the dormitory just right there. Because my dad has a friends there, but so then and when I'm in Xiang, in the hotel over there, I just <laughs> the next day I just had breakfast with for the breakfast I just had them with where well, like where their dad and his friends are in a, are in one just eat in a room. That, that's like where there's a boss, it's one of my dad's friends. There are his friends but I don't eat with those I just eat with my parents and I eat with the boss. <coughs> my parents, my dad and my and the boss and the other workers who work in the university. <coughs> they're their dad's friend and there's just the students eat eat with eat in the cafeteria. Yeah, like where they may talk to <coughs> they may talk to each other. Talk to friend. No, talk to the, the cop the students and we talk. And then you just so that was, and then there's the students' cafeteria. But I just eat in from then. I just came to visit the Xiamen University. The Xiamen University. I have no like when I was six years old. That just during the ten years anniversary of the un of the un ten years anniversary of the university. I know my dad just hold me when I was six years old. <laughs> yes, I had. I know my dad has known, has was the first one to know the school, was the university in Xiamen, but I can't tell you what the name. <laughs> and from Xiamen, I just stayed there for two nights because I know the boss in that university, and my dad, they're close brothers, but I know I know like where I have came to <coughs> visit the. At school, and then, and then my dad and the boss, like when they, when I just came to visit, see each, each room, like where they have the teacher in the 
Ooh. And I know, like there's, like I know that they have five floors, like where in that room they. Like <laughs> I know that there's a room, there's a class like where students are doing work, like working like, like manufacturing work. I have seen those students do manufacturing work. I know I just seen a student doing robotic work, and there's a teacher over there, and I know. Like where I can see that the students are busy. Our students are busy, and I know I have talked. I have talked to the teachers there, and I know they do. I know that they are interested. You know, they, wait, they are. They do believe me, and I know I can the how far I where it shows as a China flag and the U.S. flag. I have seen, and I guess students learn about, and they have the teachers from the United States and I know they learn English I know like <laughs> where's the US flag I know like, oh, like where does those American teachers just teach those Chinese students English but I know I have met one English teacher in Xiamen in this university that's in Xiamen like <coughs> he I know he can he just teaches students they just teach students English but they don't they speak a little bit of Chinese. Let me show you how to write Xiamen. This is how you write Xiamen. Look, don't look at the Shenzhen part. This is how you write Xiamen. See, look, this is Xiamen. Right here. This is Shenzhen here. This is Xiamen. If you can understand Chinese, anyone who can understand Chinese, you could. Then from Xiamen, when on the Xiamen University, they have a library. There's a dormitory on the left side. <coughs> this, the, the school, school on the north. The library on the east side. And the school in the the Xiamen universe, maybe. I don't know every day. <laughs> Most students do go to that school and learn. They have, they can learn about the field, fields of group. Like I guys know that ladies learn how to be an air host. Like there's a, <laughs> like where, there's a teacher who can teach ladies to be air, air hosts. Like where air hosts, they just work on an airplane, like where they may, may Go through the hallway, like where to ask each person on what they want. Like they can have some food or a drink. Ask to passengers what they want, and then I don't know from from Shaman, eh? like where I have to do the Shaman, like where I just sit on. And the next day after I visit the school, then <coughs> and then my dad and my then my dad when I stay in the dormitory, then the boss from that university then came, was waiting for, for us at the dormitory. Then came, then we got, then we just came, came down the stairs from the dormitory. Then, then, then my dad and, and the boss both have a meeting at the, at the library. Then they have a meeting, and then, I know, one girl has came by, and asked. A girl has came by and no, it's, it's a lady. Has a student, a student who's a lady came by and asked us, me, ask us to go, to go out like where I has then I just came, then my me my dad and we just sit sat sit in a car. We go in the car. Then my boss. That's my boss's. That's no. That's the my. That's the boss's car, which is. My dad, that's close brother, then drove to Xiamen, have a visit at Xiamen, and see the downtown area has seen the beach. And, and Xiamen, I heard that, like, where during night, during night time, no, before night, during the evening, my dad, and then when we go, come back to the car, then, then the bus drove, then drove to, Oh, I drove to the place. There's somewhere I could drove to a restaurant. It's a for dinner. I I know. 
you know the core or that lady who's a student at that university guys gave me a milk snack like when you eat that milk eat it it's t just it tastes like milk <laughs> but the color is white it is a milk candy but oh, someone knocked ring the doorbell but but ignore the door doorbell but let me speak more I'm shaman I know well like then the next day after I do the shaman then I just maybe I just leave to go to Sutro let me write search up how to write Su Sutro now, let me search that up Sutro it is gonna be this is how you write Sutro right here. I just this is Shenzhen Xiamen. After I love Xiamen, I just go to Sutro. It's Tao Tao Tao. This is Zhengnian Ban. This is Zhou, that means city. <coughs> now I guess this so Zhou, I just rode on a high speed train. And in Suzhou, in Suzhou, I, I just stayed at a hotel like before. I, I had no life. I have a cousin who is my father's brother's daughter. And there's for her, for my cousin, <coughs> my cousin, and she has. And there's her daughter, and I also see my. Uh, she has a daughter. I, that's my, which is my niece. I have one niece and a one nephew. One niece. I know that she's ten, and that my nephew. She's he's a baby. He's eight months old. I just met them at a high speed train like where, for that, for that boy, for that my nephew who's eight months old. There's, I know that's his. I just met. There's his mom, but, I know. I know I just had McDonald's for dinner in China, in China, you know, for, in Suzhou, then at the train station, then after that, then, <coughs> then, my, my cousin has drove me, us to a hotel, but me, me and my dad just stay at a hotel, but my cousin, my cousin, and who's my father's brother, her daughter, I know that I just she, her like a sister, but I know that she's forty two, and she just goes home with her daughter, which is my niece. Then they they all go home home in Sucho, but then with me and my dad stay in a hotel like where, or it's a modern hotel, <coughs> and then we just sleep there. I know I had, I could use Snapchat there, but. I know the Chinese government has blocked YouTube, blocked Snapchat, no, blocked Google, and blocked and blocked Twitter, blocked the those <coughs> social media made from the United States. Let me show you some pictures. Now this is me right here, where I just wrote a subway <coughs> from. Hong Kong, and you can see, <coughs> I just rode on, on a subway, like this is on a subway, this is right here is Shenzhen, over here, let me show you, that's Shenzhen, this is right now, this is arrived at Shenzhen, no, this is, this is in Shenzhen, those two hot, Apartments, right? Three apartments right here. Then I just came to a restaurant. This is a, in a restaurant in Shenzhen. After a restaurant, then my dad had a, a meeting, and then I just bought. <coughs> this is what my uncle had bought me from Shenzhen. My mother's brother had bought me. That's Gatorade. This is Gatorade. Then the next, this is what, what, as a, 
the next day. <laughs> I just ride on a high speed train. The shout man. You think this is I just took a picture right here. It says what a focus. I'm gonna show you too close. There. Let's then the next day, this is in Xiamen. I know this is in Xiamen. This is in Xiamen. Right here. I don't know. This is a man just making ice cream. Of course, he just used a whipped cream put on. The cups. I don't know if they have those those pieces of steam. Well, it's like the steam right here, but it's cold. Like I have seen, I have seen a a little kid with a leash on, <coughs> like right here, who have a leash on their wrist, and then and then his mom pulls it because they, I know many little kids in China. Ha and you have a leash because there they have a leash to let the kids stay with mother because there's too many people and, and then not let the kid and the mother or stay away they just have a leash to stay together or to not let the little kid go away and then when there's they're in the crowd like there's too many people then <laughs> then the mother doesn't know like. I know, and after Sham, I sound like when I, from this after I drink, drink this and uh, then <coughs> next, and after uh, this then that and has gotten, and then that, yeah, we could just go to a restaurant in Shenzhen. After a restaurant in Shenzhen, then the next day stay in a hotel, then ride a train. And from and then go to Xiamen, and then when I say in Xiamen, I just <coughs> for two nights and then go to Shanghai. And this is in, this is in Shanghai, this is me, I was in a car. This is in one of my dad's friend's car. This is Shanghai. I just, I just see the Oriental Pearl Tower, you can see, right here. It's an Oriental Pearl Hotel, <coughs> right over here. You can see that's in Shanghai. After Suzhou, I just took a high-speed train in Shanghai. Suzhou is near Shanghai. I can see this tower, those buildings <coughs> right here. Those buildings you can see right over here is Shanghai. Shanghai is the largest city in China. Let me write down Shanghai. After Suzhou, it's gonna be. Right here, this is Shanghai, where I wrote. See on the fourth one. This is Shanghai, you can see. Right here, this is Shanghai. And then. From Shanghai, but <coughs> no, this is me. I just rode on a boat. The, the boat going to that other airline in Shanghai. So then, this is me. I was riding on a boat over here. Then I just came to drink. This, this, this is ice lemon tea. That's in the cafe and bar in, Shang, in Shanghai. This one you can see, I just, <laughs> I'm closer to see the Oriental Pearl Tower. This Oriental Pearl Tower right here. Then. I just took a picture on a street. This is in Shanghai. 
you can see those figure on the screen and you can see those traffic lights right here. Traffic. Those two traffic <laughs> And then <coughs> and this is on a street I could I can see there's this is a road sign. Those two traffic lights are here. And then after Shanghai, I just stayed I didn't you know I just stayed at a home going to Shanghai then I just came to see the statue then the next day I just go to Dezhou when I go to Dezhou I know Dezhou <coughs> it doesn't mean Texas in Chinese I know Dezhou it's a there's two Dezhou's one is a city in in China and one is and another one <coughs> is the Chinese name for Texas and Dezhou this is in the city Dezhou like where I had no see the statue right here I don't I, I feel like he's this person is related with me but I know <coughs> what he, I know he's born bef, born a long long time ago this, let me show you how to write my last name in Chinese you want to write my last name in Chinese let me write it it is This is how you write my last name. Let me cover those up. This is my last name in Chinese. Is this this I know this without this right here, this is a tao to toe. This is this means zhong. When a zhong means heavy. You just call this just say this is this is dong right here. This is <coughs> dong. That's my last name in Chinese. I know dong, that could be like I like a super, that could mean, I like a director. And, I don't know why I have these also, what are traditional Chinese buildings in China? In Zhuzhou? And you can see the city right here, Dezhou right here. I know in Dezhou. Let me how to <coughs> how write Dezhou. It's, it's gonna be. Let me search up. In, oh no, Dezhou. Let me write that down for you. This is right here. Right here, this is how I write Dujo. I wrote in a high speed train from speed train from Shanghai and then from in the morning to Dujo, then when I arrived at Dujo it was the eve it was the evening. I know like there's a Dujo chicken. Braised chicken. Dujo Oh Dujo braised chicken. Like I know like there I have met a and my one of my friend and in the channel I first <laughs> met him before during fifth grade. He has been a colony medals when I during when I was in fifth grade and he was in third grade at friend. <laughs> and I know I just met him at a restaurant, but in a restaurant on I just passed a food put on the table and we just spin it to pick up food but I can't eat the food. I know. In Dejo, after I eat one, I stay in the hotel. In Dejo, it's old. It's old European. It's a European style. Ah, yeah, it's old European style, eh? And I don't know. I just found <coughs> outside in Dejo. Like Dejo, it was a. It was, 
This is solar energy. That city makes you just manufacture solar energy. Then <coughs> from Zhuzhou, let's go to Luoyang. Let me search about Luoyang. Yes. Moyang. This is probably right. Moy, Moyang, Moyang. Oh shit, I know after the drug is gonna Luoyang. Luoyang is <coughs> one of the oldest one of the oldest city in China. I know I know I don't like the city. It's old but my grandpa and my step grandma lives here. My grandpa <coughs> I know from my grandpa. I know my normal real grandma from my father's side. Yeah, from my father's side I have my grandpa. Right there and my grandma has passed away. During nine, since the 1990s, somewhere around 1990, so that till 1996, my grandpa has gotten remarried. I know there's my grandpa and that grandma's and and my and his and my remarried grandma is gonna be my called my step grandma. <coughs> my step grandma, like where and those stuffs, the building place looks old. Their place looks old, but. I know that the washroom looks dirty, but the toilet won't flush, and the things that <coughs> are dirty, the washroom is dirty, and and, uh, and those, when they got them in the brand, they just supposed to, it said all Chinese. I know Moya is old, but I can't sleep. <coughs> I can't sleep well, but I can't use the washroom because it looks old. So then the next day after Moya, I just go to and just go. To, just stay in a hotel, which is better than my grandpa's place. But then after, let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> I know when we, my grandparents, my grandpa, and my step grandma, they suffer every day because because they don't have an air conditioning, so they just use a fan, and uh, I can't, I can't sleep on their place. But then, I'm gonna stay in Luoyang for two days. Then the next day after Luoyang, I just go to Xi'an. This is in Xi'an, like where I can see this tower right here. This is a tower. This is in Xi'an. I have seen this this tower right here. This tower is Xi'an. I have seen this pot. <coughs> What's inside this pot? Like where they just burn the sticks to communicate with Buddha. And like where, when I see this over here, then like I know when I see this <coughs> cauldron, this cauldron right here, it is when they communicate with Buddha. I can see that this right over here is a. Buddha statue right here, and on, and on the top I can see I can see Xiamen right here. When I'm just on the t no, not Xiamen, Xi'an is Xi'an. Oh, this is a Xi'an. <coughs> this is in Xi Xi'an. Then. From Xi'an, the next day, I just go to Beijing. Beijing? I know Beijing is the capital of China. I know that. I know Jing means capital. I'm just <coughs> sure how to write Xi'an. It is. Xi. Right here, this is Xi. 
she on, she is west, on is safe. I, I don't like it there. <coughs> or China, like where? People can be called Do Beijing, North Capital, Nanjing, South Capital. Xi'an could be West Capital, but <coughs> Kaifeng used to be Dongjing. Dongjing is East Capital, but then they just moved to Tokyo. But Japanese like Dongjing as the capital. I call it Tokyo. Then, when I took a picture, when I'm in the hotel in Beijing, you can see the street. I can see the the street down here. It, <coughs> it had many. It had many lanes. You can see right here, right here. I can see. This building right here, you know, like this is a traditional Chinese, and this is in Beijing. I can see this is a museum of Chinese history, a museum of Chinese history right here, like where it has a star on the building, being in the red stuff. I can, I can see right here. <coughs> this is a chunk. Like where it's a government office here in China. I know. I think when I take a picture, that's a government office. All right here, <coughs> I can see the Tiananmen. Tiananmen is called Forbidden City. Right here, this is the Tiananmen I just took a picture of. <laughs> There's a picture right here. That's, this picture right here is Mao Zedong. One way here, one way here, you can see there's Mao Zedong. He's a f <laughs> found. He's a founder of. He's the first found. He just founded People's Republic of China. This right here, those Chinese words right here. This is. <laughs> It means People's Republic of China. Like, I know that this is a forbidden city. In this forbidden city, when I get in, I said I know the empire used to live there before during the dynasty period. The empire. And <coughs> I can see the flag of China here. When I took a picture, of this, <coughs> I just zoom in. This is the off the government office of people of China. Of China, I'm gonna <coughs> I can see that like where a forbidden city when it's closed, they just <coughs> but there's a but I can see that there's a there's a, <coughs> a there's a soldier, a Chinese soldier standing there, no movement. Those Chinese soldiers, they're standing <coughs> right right there because they're closed, but they don't move. They don't move. <coughs> and I can see. I can see. When this is in Beijing, I can see I'm in a gar a garden somewhere in the garden. This I can see this is in a garden, and right here I can see this restaurant. I don't know. I just see this restaurant. It's called Li Xian Sheng. It's right here. I can see. I can see that this is in a restaurant. Li Xiansheng. Li Xiansheng is called Mr. Li. 
I know that this is a picture of Li Xiansheng. It's a, I know it's a Chinese fast food restaurant. <coughs> when they said niao rou mian, that means beef noodles. I comment down below <coughs> if you have heard of Li Xiansheng's. Then this is me in a restaurant in Beijing in Li Xiansheng. I've <coughs> seen a Li Xiansheng in Luoyang. And I seen a Li Xiansheng in Shanghai at a train station. Then let's get in the Forbidden City. Right here. <coughs> that was inside the Forbidden City. This is <coughs> what the door right here. Here looks like the door in the Forbidden City. This is what the door could look like. I know that. I can see this right here. <coughs> in the Forbidden City. I can see this is what <coughs> put right here, like where this is what you. you in China, what Chinese people do when they can tell time during the dynasty time. No, the dynasty period. I don't know, this is the <laughs> Empire's Cherry right here. Like when I in the Forbidden City. That's the Empire's there's an empire's chair during the dynasty. <coughs> we can call this the empire's chair. Not really get to put it in let's go to a museum. I know there's too many, but I know for Beijing when I then I just go back then I just go to my oh the house like where the, the Dong family members were because my last name is Dong. <laughs> I just took a picture. This is a picture of one outlet in what the out what an outlet may look like in China. This is what an outlet is. It has, and then this is there's those outlets here. This is in a hotel, and when we came back to Luoyang, after I go to my that's village. That's the village was called. It's called Feng Tun in. It's in. Henan, I don't know, Henan province, Huajia county, Kangtun district, then Feng Tun. From Luoyang, then I'm gonna go back. <coughs> I, and, and that village I work, I guess, I just, there's a village, and then I just, I know that there's the Dong family member, I had, then the Dong family group member just eat there, like in a group. But I know, then I know like, then I go back to Goya to take right the high speed train. Then this, <coughs> this is in a, this is at a train in station in Shenzhen. And then I go back to Shenzhen. Then those are the two. And this is the two towers in Shenzhen. I'm taking a picture along the street in Shenzhen. You know that where you can see the traffic light may look like when I take a picture along the street.
Oh, I can see that there's a drone. This is this looks, this looks modern in Shenzhen. <coughs> you can see this drone right here. I, don't know if I see this tower in Shenzhen. It looks like a bullet. I don't know, this place in Shenzhen looks, looks more. Then after Shenzhen, I just go back to Hong Kong. Then from Hong Kong, <coughs> I just came back to my uncle's place. Then from Hong Kong, then the next day, eh? I just, then I just take a bus to airport, then from airport. I'm gonna go to airport, I just fly back to Houston. This is why I took a picture in Hong Kong. This is in Hong Kong. The cars drive. You know the cars drive on the left side. And I know the truck. <coughs> oh, this looks like. Well, we know that this. This looks like the UK. In Hong Kong. During that was during July fifth. Let me show you the time. Show you the time period before before I end the video. Before I end the video, for Shenzhen. Like I know it's June eighteenth when I was in. Hong, in Hong Kong, June nineteenth, I was going to Shenzhen. Then, June twentieth and twenty first, I was that was Xiamen. June twenty second, Suzhou. Twenty. June twenty third, Shanghai. June twenty fourth, Dezhou. June twenty. Well. Let me see. No, this is. Nineteenth, I was in Su. I was in Su. Shenzhen. Nineteenth, twentieth is. Twentieth and twenty-first are. Are Xiamen. Twenty-second is. In Suzhou. Twenty-third, Shanghai. Twenty-fourth is Dezhou. Twenty-fifth is I go to. In Dezhou, I just go to Guoyang. Twenty-fifth and twenty-six. Twenty. Twenty seventh, I just go to Xi'an. Twenty eighth, back to Luoyang. Back to Luoyang. Then, then from Luoyang, twenty eighth, back to Luoyang. Then, go to Kaifeng. From Kaifeng, go to Fengtun. Twenty ninth, go to Beijing. Twenty ninth, then thirtieth, go to go back to Kaifeng. Then thirtieth. And you turn like where those family members have you know, you can see you know, my other has came back from Su came back back to the village from where she turned Suzhou and my my and my nephews and niece and July first, July sec July first and second I was at Fung the Twin Village. July third go to then I was from July 1st to July 3rd. July 4th, go to. Well, well no, it's July 3rd, just go to Goya. Then July 4th, go to. Go to Shen. Go to Shenzhen. Then we're in Shenzhen at night, then. July 5th, I was at Shenzhen, then. Go to Shenzhen, then in the evening, go to Hong Kong. July 6th. From Hong Kong, go to go to the airport, then then ride back, ride take the airplane back to Houston. I'm gonna end this video right here. It's gonna already 53. I recorded this video. It's 53 minutes, but I'm gonna end this video. Make sure you snap a like if you I if you think this is 
I say that's interesting. Make sure you snap a like button. So, and don't forget, um, the new, the new social medias will come soon during, during the school, when school year starts. I'll see you guys next time.